So there's a lot of videos on YouTube and also posts on Facebook about your flow rate of your boiler. So people are telling you to turn your flow rate down if you've got a combi boiler so that it can condense more efficiently and save you money. Um, but the thing is, is that I actually did this. So um, we started off at 55 and it literally was taking me all evening to get my temperature up and it wasn't even getting up to 18 at all so um and you know it's, it was feeling very chilly so we decided that um we would put it up to 60 and still exactly the same problem so i had the heating engineer people ring today about it because i was talking they were supposed to come and then they didn't because we had minus 10 around here and they had so many emergencies they couldn't come somebody was supposed to ring me but didn't blah 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 but you know but basically what they said to me is that it's all well and good to the government and everybody telling you to turn your flow rate down to save money um and yes it can do but when you're in freezing temperatures like we've been having it could literally um make it very difficult for your system to get up to temperature. You might do, if the outside temperature is, is warmer, you might be able to turn it down. But when it's really, really cold, like it has been in, in the UK, then you will probably find that turning your flow rate down will actually make it really difficult for your house to reach temperature. So, um, I mean, I had a, a couple of issues with mine in that um, um, they got me to check my radiators to bleed them, but they were fine. Uh, and then I discovered that my pressure was too low. Um, so that was another thing that you can check um, because if you haven't got enough pressure, then obviously it's not gonna help your radiators. Mine was too low, although it's still in green, it wasn't at the recommended setting they recommend for the boiler. So they taught me through how to turn it up and mine should have been at one and a half and it was nowhere near, it was really, really low. Um, and then, um, <clears throat> They told me that although my uh, flow rate was set at 60, that I should try it at 65 and see if that improves the situation because I literally, I'm not making any savings because like I was saying to the chap, what I'm having to do at night was I shut in the lounge door because you know, they tell you to keep one room warm. And then I was turning the um, fire on to top the heat up. So actually I wasn't saving any money um and he was saying you know you're only actually going to save about 100 pounds a year and they make it seem like you're going to save hundreds and that's not the case it's going to be up to 100 pounds a year which if you equate that over the 12 months it's not actually um enormous um i mean it's a little bit but it's not enormous um so he said that i could have my flow rate up to 70 and my boiler would still efficiently condense anything over 70 then it would stop being efficient so basically um if i find that 65 isn't enough for my system then i can turn it up to 70 um he said it's all about your comfort levels and i've got mine set at 18 and i i feel comfortable at 15 anything below there i start to feel quite chilly and cold um, I always dress well. I've got lots of layers on. Um, I'm using blankets and all that kind of thing. But yeah, if it drops below 15, that's when I start to feel really cold. Um, I'm not having my heating on during the day at the moment. We're only actually having it on for six hours. Um, but during this freezing weather, we've just not been able to achieve temperatures that we want. So just be aware that, yes, although this advice is going around about your flow rate temperatures of your boilers, that everybody's situation is different. I've got a fairly new boiler. Mine's still under warranty, but my radiators are over 20 years old. Um, they may not be as efficient as some places. Um, and also, you know, um, <clears throat> So, yeah, you, you just got to take it all into account that your place is individual. Okay?